game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Barcelo, angle right, Harding, three. Got it, Connor Harding! Play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by Les Olson, your technology partner. By Provo Land Title. Buying, selling, or refinancing. Close with the pros at Provo Land Title. Also by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's time to play BYU basketball. Straight away, Colby. Colby for three! Colby Lee! Straight away! Down the barrel triple! On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's pause 10 seconds for stations to identify themselves on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Radio on KBYU FM HD2 Provo. You are listening to BYU Basketball on BYU Radio. BYU in Portland coming up. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of America First, Utah's top credit union. We'll start with the uh, visiting team, the Portland Pilots, 6-7 and seven on the year. 0-4 in the West Coast Conference. They are 1-4 in true away games. Terry Porter is the head coach in his fifth season on the bluff. His record is 43-99. and His team has lost five in a row coming into tonight's game. Starting at the point number two, Ahmed Ali, the Toronto, Ontario native. A transfer from Washington State and the University of Hawaii. At the, at the two, replacing the injured Isaiah Dasher tonight is number one, Zach Triplett. 6'5", 165, a freshman from Melbourne, Australia. I thought Rudolph would get the call to replace him. Yeah, they, they had to go deeper down the bench, actually. <laughs> we understand that uh, uh, Prancer is uh, next next in line uh, at the three spot. Uh, so uh, the starting three is number 11, Latrell Jones, 6'5", 175, junior from Avondale, Louisiana, and College of Central Florida. At the four, number 13, Eddie Davis, 6'6", 190, a junior from Port Salerno, Florida, and Colby Community College starting center number 24 Michael Hen 68225 senior from Bellevue Washington UC Davis and Cal Baptist but the, the, they're not a true post up team with that post a lot of pick and pop a lot of five out and so that's how the pilots like to play Mark Duran introduces the BYU Cougars at the point guard for the Cougars number 30 Alex Barcelo the senior out of Arizona at the 2 number 4 Brandon Averett 511 senior out of Richardson, Texas, three men is number 21, Trevin Nell. He's 6'5", he's 190, he's a sophomore out of Woods Cross, Utah. Four man is number 40, Colby Lee, 6'9", 240, the junior from Meridian, Idaho. And at the five spot, the big fella, the man in the middle, number three, Matt Harm, 7'3", the senior out of the Netherlands via Purdue. That's your starting five for the 11 and three Cougars, 2-1 and one in conference, 5-1 and one here in the Merritt Center, coached by head coach Mark Pope in season number two. BYU's won nine in a row against the Pilots. Have never lost to Portland here at the Marriott Center. Over the last two years, BYU's beaten the Pilots by an average of 29 points a game. Conference play has not been kind to the Pilots over the past couple years. Isn't it crazy that of their last 45 league games, including conference tournament, they've won one time. One in 44, and the one win was against a good San Francisco team last year. It's super crazy to me because... We played them all those years, and they haven't been that bad. I mean, you'd think they'd get a handful of wins at least. All right, Portland in the road blacks with purple and white to BYU in the home whites with dark blue. The officials tonight are Winston Smith, Daryl Jelinas, and Ron Brokenbro, and we are ready to play. Put my money on Matt Harms for the tip. Going up against Eddie Davis at 6'6", Matt Harms at 7'3", and Matt, I think it's a... Maybe twice BYU's not won the opening tap this year. Yeah, and that's usually when a guy just kind of sneaks up there, jumps real quick, and gets it before it gets to the top. If it's a fair jump, Matt will win it. All right, so it's BYU and Portland. The Pilots 0-12 all time here at the Marriott Center. And BYU looking to win a third consecutive conference game. The Pilots are off to an 0-4 start in league play. All right, ball's ready for play. Winston Smith strides into the center circle. He's ready to toss it up. And Matt Harms immediately slaps back to Alex Barcelo. BYU from back to front, left to right, as we see it and you hear it here at the Marriott Center. Well, we see some posts up early with the size advantage down low. Post up to Lee, out to Nell for three, and that's good. 
Trevin Nell shoots and scores to get BYU on the board. The Cougs make their first three. It's a Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. With every three-pointer made, Mountain America donates $50 to the American Red Cross. So Nell for three, and BYU takes the early lead 30 seconds in. Three the other way is good on the right side from Latrell Jones. So Jones answers Nell's three, and we're square even here in the first 40 seconds. Marcelo on the bump, left wing to Nell. The post feeds knocked away, taken away. Turnover by BYU Steel by the Pilots. Should not be a bounce pass to Harms. Get it up high where he can catch it. Latrell Jones jabbing on the arc right side. Goes right corner to Ahmed Ali. Ali back to Jones. Jones has Harms backpedaling, high to Hen. And now on the bump to Eddie Davis. He'll drive it, hang, miss at the rim. Rebound to Harms, quick clear to Nell. Nell will take it front court left side. A minute and ten seconds gone. We're tied at three. Nell terminates. On the top of the key to Harms. Harms will underhand scoop to Averett right wing. Cycled left wing. Nell on the pass from Lee. Now low to Matt. Matt's quick jump hook is good. So Matt Harms has the defender drop beneath the basket. Goes up and scores two. BYU takes the two-point lead, 5-3. to I like getting the post touches. Even when they don't make a post move, kick it back out. It just collapses the defense, opens up everything. Pilots basketball. They go right to left as we see it and you hear it. Fadeaway jumper from Eddie Davis is no good. The rebound of the Cougars. Barcelo front court right side to Averett. Averett on the arc right. A quick start on triplet beneath the basket. Reverse lay and good. Brandon Averett driving, scooping, and scoring on the other side of the rim. We'll call that an early Zions Bank shot of the game. For a financial slam dunk, Zions Bank is for you. BYU the four-point lead, 7-3. to three. Offensive foul, Portland the other way. Turnover and Cougar basketball. Oh, nice defense there to you got to really help against where they put it on the floor, so you got to rotate and help, and BYU was there. I, I love that move by Averitt as well. He got a lot of body contact on the base, but he just kept pushing, kept pushing, got by his man. Nice reverse layup. Averitt two, Harms two, Nell three. The Cougars lead by four. Game high cushion, seven to three. Just over two minutes gone here in Provo. Averitt, top of the key, to the right elbow, to the right post, hangs, banks, and too strong on it. Harms got the rebound, sticks it back, and scores. So Matt Harms' size down low, already paying dividends for BYU. He's got four. The Cougar leads six at 9-3. to three. It's like playing with your big brother growing up. He just kind of taps it to himself and then just puts it in the hoop. Eddie Davis straight away looks for help, has it with Triplett on the wing left side. Triplett bounces into an 18-footer, shoots, and off the rim, the window no good. Rebound Nell, clear, Averitt. Averitt front court right side. To the left elbow, to the baseline, reversing off the window short that time. Off balance miss and the rebound to the Pilots. 17-15 to go till halftime. The BYU leads six at 9-3. to three. A little handsy is Colby Lee out front. He's called for a non-shooting foul with 17-13 to go until halftime. Brandon had a shot with the reverse, but he hesitated and then took another dribble, and, and that, he was kind of out of it. He still tried to throw it up and not even close. So 6 nothing run for BYU after Portland tied the game at 3 in the first minute. 9-3 to three our score. And it'll be Portland on the far sideline in front of the BYU team area. Zach Triplett will send in the Australian. Second start of the season. Ahmed Ali, Washington State, and then Hawaii before coming to Portland. Ali out front. Shoots a lot of free throws. Averages about seven per game. Triplett to the right wing. Latrell Jones beating Nell to the paint. Driving lane score. Oh, a nice crossover. Just left Nell out at nowhere and no backside help. Harms was out on the perimeter. 9-5. to five, The 6 nothing run is ended. Barcelo for three. Strong on it. Offensive rebound. Colby Lee soaring in. Pivots beneath the basket and missed the reverse flip. As impressive as the rebound was, the reverse was as unimpressive. Pilots, three-pointer right side. Jones missing. Rebound Nell again. Trevins... Already got three boards in the game. Averitt will drive it into the paint. Straight away to Harms. Angle right to Trevin Nell for three. That's back rimmed. So BYU made its first three, missing its next two. The score stays 9-5, to 16-15 to go until halftime. Ahmed Ali stepping back on Averitt. Going high to Hen, back to Ali between the circles. 16-05 to go till halftime. BYU's lead is four at 9-5. to five. Ali will drive, kick, deflected, gets to triplet. Step back three, short, rebound Barcelo. Outlet Averett. Averett stopping on the arc right, takes a bump, 
floats it, misses it off the rim. Tip is no good. Rebounded by the Pilots. BYU's gone cold. Four for ten from the field. Pilots the other way. Latrell Jones stopping at eight feet. Sending out to Ahmed. Deep three. Top of the key. Good. One point game. Nine to eight. Five nothing run for Portland. 15-35 to go until halftime. A lot of missed opportunities. BYU getting in the paint but not scoring. That's where their strength is. Matt Harms. Top of the arc. Dribbles twice. Gives to Averett. Cougars open strongly and missed a bunch of shots. Scoreless in two plus minutes. Offensive foul, turnover, timeout. 15 22 to go until halftime. BYU 9, Portland 8, our score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Athletics, thanks tonight's game sponsor, Edge. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. Check us out on social media at EdgeD2D or online at EdgeD2D.com. Our game sponsor, Edge. Great to have them as part of our BYU Athletics team. Well, BYU. Tonight began the game 4 of 5 from the field and have since gone 0 for 5 from the field. One for their last seven overall. Scoring drought of two and a half minutes. They keep a lead of 1, 9 to 8. Alex Barcelo is uh, chilling out from the uh, three-point line the last few games. He's, of course, uh, spent most of the first two months of the season 60% plus from the three-point line. He's two for his last 10 from deep, a miss a moment ago. Certainly that number will tick back up. He's too good a shooter. In fact, uh, at practice or shoot-around today, I watched he and Brandon Aver just put on a three-point show in their drills after practice in different situations, mind you, but the stroke is pure from both guys. And BYU will be, in the end, I think a really good three-point shooting team. Just not maybe in a great flow right now from three, but uh, we expect the cyclical nature of those numbers to swing back up at some point. Yeah, I, mean, I like the kind of the church ball guys who think I'm a good three-point shooter, and then you go to a practice and you see these guys shoot, and good shooters will make 20, 30 in a row at times, and you're like, oh, oh okay, I understand. <laughs> All right, Portland basketball as we come back in. Ahmed Ali, guarded by Spencer Johnson. Johnson, Harward, Loner have all checked in for BYU. It's kind of that second group, and they've been good. Latrell Jones. Isoing on Nell. Turnaround jumper over him and at front rims. The rebound. Loner lost it to Davis. Davis the cutter. Ali. Banker goes and Portland's in the lead. We don't see Seven that. nothing run. You don't see Loner get, not get that rebound very often but he's a good jumper behind him. Took a zone for Portland now. 10-9. Pilots lead the Cougars. BYU did lead 9-3. Harvard mid post left. Bounce it once, twice, get to the middle, go high to A.B. A.B. will repost to Harvard. Again on the left side, will send out to Nell another three, and that's no good. Trevin Nell is one for three from three. Made his first one, missed his last two. Rebound to Portland. BYU's trailing 14-30 to go until halftime. Cougs four for 11. They've missed six in a row from the field. We've seen this last few games, Mark. They, they make their first couple shots and then go on these dreadful droughts. Portland three in the corner is good. Pilots lead is four. As Latrell Jones knocks it down on the right corner, he's got eight. And 13-9, BYU's been outscored 10-0 over the last four minutes. BYU scoreless in four minutes, almost a steal. Portland knocks out of bounds on the BYU front court. It's a pattern, right, Mark? They, they come out, hit a few yeah. shots, and then they have these stretches where nothing goes. Yeah, clearly it's an issue, and it doesn't help when Portland's three for five from three. They're not a great three-point shooting team themselves, but... You, you, I mean, BYU's doing exactly what they want, getting the shots they want, just not hitting them. Now an offensive foul on Harward's post move, as they say, he lowered his shoulder, so not going well for BYU early. Three turnovers for BYU. Portland, the 13-9 lead and the ball. BYU scoreless in four minutes. I think BYU's game plan was not really to get on the three-point shooters. Thinking think Portland doesn't shoot a lot. They're not particularly good at it, but they have been so far. Eddie Davis will drive it into the right post. Kick to Latrell Jones, another three. People helping too much. That time Nell tried to take a charge, left his man wide open, no wow. charge called. It's a 13-0 run, Mark, for Portland. 16-9, the Pilots lead. They're energized. Jones with 11. Johnson for three. Boy, did BYU need that. Spencer Johnson, top of the key for three to answer a 13-0 Portland run. Johnson's on the board. It's another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. For BYU. Well, he struggled, but he tends to hit big shots when BYU needs him. 16-12. to 12, BYU within four now. 13.05 to go until halftime. Portland, though, very good to start the game from deep. Already four threes, four for six. 
Steal for BYU. Howard comes away with it after the deflection. Barcelo cross-court pass from right to left to Nell. Straight away to AB, top of the key. Johnson on the arc right side. Has Howard at the free throw line. Turns to phase out to Nell, top of the key. Driving kick to AB. Barcelo with an 18-second shot clock. They cycle at Nell to Johnson. Pulls, fires, misses from three. Rebound to Portland. BYU is two for six from deep. Portland four for six. Lead stays four for Portland, 16 to 12. Davis passing out of a three to Triplett, who takes the three and airballs it into the hands of Harward. Harward clears Barcelo. Barcelo front court right side. Johnson to the trailer, AB. AB fakes to his left, gives to his left, Nell. 12 15 to go till halftime. BYU down 16 to 12. Harward, single team on Hen, moves him out of the way, gets to the middle, waits, waits, jump hook with the right hand. There you go. Richard Harward scores it. BYU within two now, 16 to 14. Portland leading it. He's trying to walk that line to be clear out with that shoulder without getting an offensive foul. Not better job that time. And beneath the basket, Trevin Nell called for a hold, I think. Yep, it'll be Nell with the foul. Timeout on the floor. 11.57 to go until halftime. BYU trailing Portland by a score of 16 to 14 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball brought to you by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Portland is a 31% three-point team on the year. They're shooting 57% in the early going. Seven tries, four makes. They lead BYU by two. The score is 16-14. to 14. BYU led 9-3. to three. Then it was a 13-0 Portland run. Putting the Pilots in front 16-9. BYU's on a little 5-0 spurt the other way to answer. Two-point game with under 12 to go here at the Marriott Center. I think BYU's over-helping on defense. So they're super concerned about the dribble penetration, which they should be because Portland likes to take it hard, get to the free throw line. When they overhelp, Portland's just kicking it to three-point shooters on the wing. And even though they're not a great three-point shooting team, if they're shooting open threes, they're going to hit some threes. People confused thought it was BYU ball, and everyone's on the other end of the court. It's Portland. It's, it's a, it's a foul down low on Nell. It was right before the break. Now, Connor Harding has checked in for Nell, by the way. And now we got bodies bumping before the inbounds, and the officials blow a whistle to put an end to that. Checking in, Clythus Griffith, junior, into Ali for three. Missed it from the right wing. The rebound to Connor Harding. Outlets to Barcelo. BYU can tie or take a lead here. 16-14, to 14 Pilots. Harding, post feed to Loner. Loner mid-alley left out to Harding straight away. He'll drive and kick to Johnson. Johnson, Loner, Loner, middle, jump hook, right hand over left shoulder, good. Tie game, Caleb Loner scores. That's the best post move I've seen from Caleb. He took it strong, went up high, and had a great release point on the jump hook. Really nice. 11.25 to go until halftime. BYU on a 7-0 spurt, has tied the game at 16. Top of the key, three, good. No tie game anymore. Michael Hen knocks down the triple. That's five threes already for Portland. And the Pilots back in front, just as BYU took the lead, or BYU tied it at 16. It's untied, 19-16 Pilots. BYU turns it over as the high-low from Loner to Harward is mistimed and too high for the recipient. It goes out of bounds. BYU's turned it over for the fourth time to Portland's two. The lead for Portland is three, 19-16, 11.05 to go until halftime. Portland can shoot 56% from three. It's going to be a close game. question is, can they keep that up? It goes to Bobby Sharp. <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. Michael was, uh... Hen, top of the key. Left wing to Ferenson. Ferenson driving kick Davis. Davis straight away to Hen. The closeout by Johnson. And then Johnson draws the offensive foul as a Michael Hen has a size advantage, but he used a little too much of it to body check Johnson to the floor and so it's a turnover for Portland turnover number three the foul by Hen and Cougar basketball the other way down three 19 to 16. Barcelo front court right veers left is that kind of a one two two zone for Portland Harding receives the pass from Barcelo gives it back to him between the circles return to Harding as the lob low goes on the short corner left to Colby Lee 
Bounces twice, three, terminate high. Barcelo bobbled the pass, driving kick in the corner, open three for Harding. He got it. There we go. Connor Harding ties the game at 19. Connor Harding with a triple. It's BYU's third Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer of half number one. Connor Harding had a scoreless game against USF, scores three early here. Big shot for his confidence, and that Harding nail position is going to have open looks. Drive Ali, kick Ferenson, three left side. No. Rebound Harward. Has it knocked out of his hands by Ali. Ali. Turnaround jumper. No. Rebound BYU. Johnson races at front court left side to the trailer. Lee to the right wing. Barcelo. Now to the bump. A.B. will get into the paint. He'll kick in the corner to Harward. Uh, to Harding, beg your pardon. Now it is Lee on the post feed. Mid post left. One bounce. Two bounce. They come on the double. Gets to the rim anyway and scores it. He beat the double. And hard to the 10 for two for Colby Lee. He scores his first two. And the Cougars have a lead 21-19. to I like how aggressive and strong all the BYU big men are taking it to the hoop, knowing they have an advantage down there. Clythus Griffith will drive on Barcelo, take a bump from him, ball loose on the floor, and is thrown off of Barcelo out of bounds with 9.24 to go. Until halftime, BYU, which trailed 16-9, has gone on a 12-3 run to take a a two-point lead at 21-19. The Cougs have made their last four from the field. Arms back in the game with Lee. They've got to chase around smaller guys. Davis is perimeter guy, really, and Harms got to chase him. Large lead for the Pilots was seven. BYU's large lead's been six. Free throw line jumper missed by Griffith. Rebound to Harding. Connor, right side, Averitt. B.A. back in the game. They cycle Harms to Harding, left wing. The pick and roll low to Harms. Harms sees two defenders. One sags off. Another comes again, knock it away this time, out of bounds. Foul as well. That's Takula Ferenson. So Ferenson picks up the foul. BYU gets a 20-second shot clock in the front court with 9.02 to go until the break. It is BYU 21 and Portland 19. Scoring drought of two minutes plus for the Pilots as Harms goes hard to the hole. He's hit. He'll shoot two free throws. Really nice job from Harding to know that Harms has Davis on him, so they inbounded out to the top of the key. The seal from Harms. Connor knew exactly where he was going before he caught it. Able to get it down to Harms, draw the foul, get free throw. So Matt will shoot two. The foul to Davis is Portland's fourth as Matt makes. And nails from the free throw line. I, I worried a little at the start of the year, but since then he's just been money from the line. He's now 14 of his last 15. At the line, BYU's lead three, 22 to 19, 8.59 to go until the break. Second for Matt, that's good. So two for two, make him 15 for his last 16, and six points to lead BYU in the early going. BYU is up 23 to 19. It is a 14 to three BYU run. Ali between the circles, left to Hayden Curtis. Curtis who leads the team in block shots. Yeah, no. <laughs> gives to... Eddie Davis, who drives, and he drove right into Matt Harms, who swatted that one out of bounds. A block shot for Matt. Matt has blocked shots in 12 of 13 games played this year. I remember trying to do stuff like that against Sean Bradley. <laughs> you, I mean, you, just, you learn. It, it's not going to – you can't shoot that shot. Clyde this Griffith to Ali, stripe extended right. Ali will drive to 10 feet and kick it high to Davis. Davis will drive past Harms, see double, and squeeze it up and score it at the rim. I take it back, but you have to make a crazy shot to be able to score because that was a crazy shot. Transition triple the other way for BYU. Missed by Spencer Johnson, rebounded by the Pilots. BYU's lead down to 2, 23-21. Ali Davis for the lead, the 3, back iron, rebound. BYU slaps to the sideline, and Connor Harding collects. Left wing, Johnson. Johnson still on the bounce, terminates, goes left corner. Connor will drive it, pull it out, back to Johnson. Johnson, top of the key, Harms. Dribbles to the right, gives to Averitt there, outside the three-point line. Eight even to go until halftime. Averitt, lob pass high to Johnson. Harding for three left side, looks strong, it is, missed. The tip by Lee is also missed, and Portland on the rebound. BYU is nine for 19 from the field, 47%, leading by two, 23-21. Portland letting BYU have that three shot from the small forward position, and only one has gone. Well, two, I guess. Both out of bounds off of Portland. BYU basketball. After this, 7.34 to go until halftime. Cougs 23, Pilots 21 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the America First Credit Union courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Your scoring summary is brought to you by your Utah pork producers. From the farm to your fork, Utah pork producers are committed 
to providing nutritious pork products to Cougar fans and families across the state. Visit utahporkproducers.org and our scoring summary has BYU in front by two, 23 to 21, 734 to go until halftime. BYU led by six points from Matt Harms, three for Spencer Johnson, three for Connor Harding, three for Trevin Nell. They all scored their three points on three-point shots. Brandon Abra, two. Colby Lee, two. Two apiece for Loner and Harward. So eight Cougars have scored to get to those 23 points. BYU shooting 47%. Portland shooting 38%. The Pilots led by 11 from Latrell Jones on four of six, including three for four from deep. BYU three of nine from the three-point line as a team. The Pilots are five for 11. As we come back in, BYU basketball with Alex Barcelo, Brandon Averett, Connor Harding, Colby Lee, and Matt Harms on the floor. So four of BYU's five starters in the game. So far, Portland has not taken a free throw, which is really weird for them, but BYU giving up some threes. Colby Lee takes a post feed. Back out to A.B. Barcelo will drive it, hand it off to Harms. Knocked away, but to Harding. Harding will repost to Matt with a 12-second shot clock. Averitt for three, left side. Good. Brandon Averitt knocks it down. Another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. The Coug lead is five at 26-21, to 21, and Brandon Averitt has five points. His first three on the day. He's got to hit him. I mean, that's there every time. The post-touch, kick it back out. Portland basketball as the pilots go right to left as we see it and you hear it here in half number one. Clyde Griffiths Jr. has Barcelo going over the screen. Takes a 20-footer, rims out, and the rebound to Colby Lee to Brandon Averitt. Averitt racing at front court left side, stops on the three-point line, stops at 25 feet, and goes left wing to right wing. Connor Harding, right corner to Barcelo. Well, Barcelo on the bounce. Hasn't played against zone at all really this year, and Portland, that's all they're showing BYU. Barcelo and A.B. play the two-man game. A B.A., beg your pardon. Now a skip pass all the way across the wing on the right side. The Harding missed the three. And the rebound to Portland. BYU 26 and Portland 21. 6-21 to go until the break. Kick and uh, Portland ball. It's uh, hard to be tough on guys, but, man, wide open threes. You just have to punish people with that shot. I mean, it's so hard to get those kind of looks. You've got to make those. Four of 11 are the Cougs from deep. Harding one for three, Johnson one for three, Nell one for three. Ali, hide a hen, oh Ooh, man, alive. Ouch. And Kobe Lee didn't stay down on Michael Hen. <laughs> he, uh, he bit on the three-pointer top of the key and flew into Hen. And so Kobe Lee picks up his second foul. And Hen should have just thrown it up, got three free throws. Yeah, but that was really scary and Colby Lucky kind of just landed flat on his back. It maybe knocked the wind out of you, but he's going to be okay. Shot never went up, so it was a non-shooting foul. Lee has a seat. Loner back in the game. Portland stays in possession. Averick goes under the screen. Loner's got the switch on to Ahmed Ali now. Lee takes Loner, goes behind the back to the free throw line, hands it low and right up and in. Clyde this Griffith Jr. on the assist from Ahmed Ali. And Portland within three, 26 to 23. 5.50 to go until halftime. Post feed Harms hitting the back, non shooting. So Michael Hen picks up his second foul. Fifth on the Pilots. And BYU basketball beneath the basket to the left of the standard. 5.48 to go till the break. The Cougar leads just one possession, three points. Marcelo, lob on the high low to Harms. And BYU's called for a three second violation, or was it a foul? Foul on Harms to clear space. So Matt picks up the foul. His first, BYU's fifth. Team fouls even five apiece. He'll check out. Harward will check in. And the Cougars, shooting near 50%, have the lead of three at 26-23. Turnover trouble, five of them in the first half for BYU. Marcelo yet to score in this game. We've seen games like this where he gets late into the half with zero on his uh, on his point tally. And he gets 20 in the game. Let's yeah. hope that happens here. Ahmed Ali open for three in the tie. Strong on it. Rebound to Averitt. Brandon Averitt races it down the barrel. Passes on the wing left side. Left corner. Three-pointer. Nope. No. A.B. missing the three. Alex is two for his last 11 from deep. And a loose ball foul in the fight for the rebound. Team foul number six on Portland. BYU basketball out of bounds. That one was wide open. And if Alex is missing him, he just got to scratch your head. That was automatic earlier in the year. So BYU out of bounds. 
with 5.19 to go till halftime. Cougs up three. Game high lead for BYU has been six. Trevanell turns it over on a pass intended for Richard Harwood beneath the basket. They're trying to lob it in when you just get it to the wing and have a post feed. That's easy. They're trying to lob it across cross court. Eddie Davis drive, dish, slam dunk. Hayden Curtis. Portland's within one. BYU six point lead down to one. 26 25. 455 to go until the break. Nell from the angle left. Straight away to Averett. Averett to Barcelo. Portland zoning it. The lob post feed to Loner. Loner reverse pivot to face and now backs down on Curtis. Drive and kick. AB for three. Got it. There it is. Bound to happen. Alex Barcelo with his first three pointer of the night. Another Mountain America three pointer for BYU. AB's on the board with three. The BYU lead four at 29 to 25. So the Cougs 5 of 13 now from deep here in the first half. Clyde this Griffiths will drive it, bank it, and score it on the scooping lay in. Griffith averaging 5.8. It's got four, and Portland's within two, 29 to 27. Nell, top of the key. Pilots doing a nice job answering after BYU scores. Caleb Lohner takes the high low and lays it off the window. Good. Some contact, no call. And the BYU lead four again, 31-27. Four even to go till halftime. A great job by Caleb. Just bounce off that defender and finish strong. He, look, he looks really good. The assist of Trevin Nell. We'll call that a UCCU. Smart decision. Nell to Lohner for two. For three, Griffith missing. Lohner has the rebound. Clears to Barcelo. 3.45 to go until halftime. BYU's lead is four. Looking to tie or perhaps perhaps surpass the game-high cushion here. Loner finds Harward. Harward patiently to the hoop, and he scores at the rim. Richard Harward from the right side of the basket. He's got four, and the BYU lead is a game-high six at 33-27. to 3.25 to go until halftime. Can the Cougars stretch it out here before the break? Cougs made their last three from the field in taking the six-point lead, 33-27. to 27. Step back from Ali. Travel and timeout on the floor. Moments ago, we had the UCCU smart decision on the assist from Trevin Nell. Here's a smart decision. The 4321 cashback credit card from UCCU, giving you up to 4% cash back on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. BYU will have the ball after this. 314 to go until halftime. The Cougar lead to 6, 3327 over the Portland Pilots right here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard for the scoreboard update. St. Mary's looking for its first conference win of the season. They have a lead at LMU in the second half. It is 47-39 in favor of the Gales. And in the first half, it is Pepperdine all over Pacific, 34-10, four minutes to go in the first half. And, man, it feels good to say let's head back to the Marriott Center. And the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Thank you, Chef. Fans, dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody. From burgers to wings, shakes to salads, JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and now open in Harriman. 3.14 to go till the break. BYU basketball, 33-27. The Cougs lead by six. That is the game-high cushion. Alex Barcelo starts at right side to Spencer Johnson. Back to A.B., top of the key. A.B. slicing through defenders, hands off to Richard Howard, and that coaxes over the rim and good. Floated it up. Right at the basket, and Richard Harvard's got six here in the first half. BYU's lead now a game high, eight. Cougs on a run over the last 101 of six zip. They've made their last four from the floor. Eddie Davis from the left block. It cycled out to the right wing. A drive and lob on the left side to Latrell Jones. Three-pointer, good. Left side, Latrell Jones, 14 here in the first half. Nell was surprised that he shot that. He was there in plenty of time, but... Didn't really contest the three. Quincy Faraby is checked in for Portland. Hasn't been playing a lot this year as Caleb Lohner takes the post feed to the right and goes left wing Johnson. Now a left post feed to Harvard. Harvard spins to the base, waits, and traveled with it, turned it over. So BYU gets an eight-point lead, sees a three made, turns it over the other way, and Portland hanging in before halftime here. 35-30, to 30, BYU's lead with 2.16 to go till the break. Latrell Jones, four threes here in the first half. 14 points to lead the Pilots. BYU steal. Loner, Barcelo. Barcelo to the rim. Layup. Good. Alex Barcelo with a breakaway score. Good shot by Loner to get that steal and lead the break. Give it up at the right time to Alex. Leans back and scores with the right hand. So Barcelo gives BYU a seven-point lead. Good steal and score. 37-30, 151 to go until halftime. Farabee 
Left wing Jones drives Nell. Step back on him. 15-footer. Back iron no good, but a foul. It'll be free throws for Portland. There's really no reason for Nell to do that. He contested the shot. Wasn't close. And almost like he was trying to box out. And uh, the shooter fell to the ground. Just, just not a smart play. Two fouls on Nell, six fouls on BYU, and the Pilots will shoot their first free throws of the game. And that's surprising. It got to almost 19 minutes before it happened. You like Nell's toughness, and he's very physical on the perimeter, but sometimes he's a bit of a bowl in a china shop as the free throw's good. First free throw of the game for the Pilots. They're one of the best free throw teams in the country, 78%, fourth nationally in that. But they lead the country in free throw rate, that is free throw attempts per field goal attempts. And these are their first free throws of the game. First one is made by Jones. 15 here in the first half for Latrell Jones. Misses the second, so one for two on the trip. He's already well over his per-game scoring average here in the first half. Spencer Johnson right side. 95 seconds to go till halftime. The BYU leads 6, 37-31. The game high lead's been 8 for BYU. Portland zoning it. Barcelo and Johnson. Johnson 3. No, he's strong on it. Tried to chase his rebound, but couldn't keep it in bounds. It's Portland basketball. Uh, I, I mean, it's tough. Uh, that's the spot that's open. You get a post-touch cross-court pass to the, the three-man, whether it's Harding or Nell or Johnson. That's the shot that's really open, and none of those guys really hot today. Five for 14, BYU from deep. Portland basketball with Fairby driving it and lobbing it, and contact as the pass goes into traffic with Jones. Beneath the basket, couldn't keep it in, but deflected out, did Jones. So it's BYU basketball. Turnover by the Pilots. That's seven for Portland. Turnovers are even seven apiece here in the first half. So we have 105 to go until halftime. The BYU lead is six. BYU should lead at the break. BYU this year, 9-0 when leading at halftime. Harms, a short corner feed to the right side. Single team, single team. Now out to Barcelo, drive and kick Johnson. Another three. That's no good. And the rebound to Portland. Spencer Johnson, one of five from three here in the first half. Ahmed Ali drives Barcelo. Blocked out of bounds by Harms. It'll stay Portland basketball with a 21-second shot clock. 40.9 on the game clock. The Cougar lead is six. Well, BYU's about green lights from the perimeter, so to have an open shot, you like to shoot it. But when you have such a dominant advantage in the paint, you can score really at will with your big man. Make sure they get the, the, the first opportunity. Farabee into Ali. Ahmed Ali, guarded by Johnson on the right wing. Runs Johnson into a screen, opening Ali for three. Missed. Rebound Loner. BYU's got the shot clock at 28, the game clock at 30. So the Cougars can play for more or less the final shot of the first half if they want to go that way. And it appears they do as Barcelo bounces slowly near the timeline with 20 seconds on the game clock, now down to 16 on the shot clock. BYU will lead at halftime, but by how many? 37-31's our score. We're down to 12 seconds. Nine on the shot. Three, Johnson. No, another miss. It bounds out to Spencer Johnson with six and with five. Low to Loner, and he hammers it, but he missed the dunk. With three and with two. One, and at the buzzer. No, the shot missed. Three-pointer, no good from Latrell Jones. BYU sees uh, two gimme points go begging right at the end of the half as Loner somehow missed the dunk. Yeah, and so BYU's up 37-31 at the break. I don't know what happened there. It looked like it was going to really turn out well as the ball was batted around right to Loner and point blank. I, I don't know if it slipped out of his hands or what. Came after Spencer Johnson's missed three. He went one for six from deep. As the Cougs got plenty of good looks, couldn't make the shots, and Spencer is one of those guys you'd count on to make a couple of those. He made just the one of six, and then the missed dunk on the rebound. Six points the lead for BYU at halftime. 37-31. We'll come back with a halftime recap next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.